in it. You have it there. We would never lie. That wasn't my decision. I understand what you're saying, but after we saw the 27th district, I think we see highlighted how difficult it is to do that. Um, I regret that, but this is a very diverse slate. It represents three of the four candidates for president, and those three that agreed to work together, and those that, for instance, who have not misrepresented, who's supporting them and what they're doing. Coming from an area where they have literally attempted to trick people, I hope that stands out as an example of how important voting for this slate is. I believe that is a very important thing. Okay, so if I understand the, the point behind this slate, you know, I'm new to the whole political process, so I don't even know what a slate is. But, Would you speak uh, up, but some of us can't hear you. Yeah, okay. We don't even know what Okay, it's recommendations. It? I'll it? explain, I apologize, I jumped ahead. Yeah, dumb it down I, for it. I, I apologize. <laughs> I, Go back to the so, you are about to elect delegates to the state convention. Right. And who that is depends on your votes. Now, most districts don't have a majority for any of one of the three major candidates for president. None of them have majorities. So we looked at that and we said, why don't we create one group of people that represents all three campaigns, representatives from every three campaigns, and we'll put them on a list and we'll ask all three campaigns' delegates, you, to vote for them. So you're about to elect 35 people to represent this legislative district at the state convention. 35? Oh, 31. Excuse me. Thank you. You're about, this is the exact correct number, just so you know. So when we typed this up, we got that right. So you're about to rep elect these delegates to the state convention. We're asking you to vote for these people. There are Romney people, Gingrich people, and Santorum people on the list. How were they chosen? They were chosen based on, we talked to each campaign, we talked to local Republicans who knew them, and we got advice from them. A lot of us didn't have a clue. We didn't, we, we've yeah. heard of none of these people. I understand. So. Most of these folks are people who have volunteered on campaigns, who have worked in fair booths, been a PCO. They're folks who have like put in time on the party. And so one of my, I'm going to be honest with you, one of my great regrets is a lot of people are here for the first time. And one of the disadvantages of doing it this way is that new people, it's harder for us to include you. And I apologize for that. But we didn't do this until we saw three legislative districts get taken over in King County by the Ron Paul folks. And we saw how they were willing to behave. So at that moment, we decided we had to be a bit more careful, and this represents that commitment being more careful. And I'm, I'm being pretty blunt with you guys. I'm being honest about all the pluses and cons. And so I... Well, just, just let me clarify then. Uh, I don't know the particulars about what happened in uh, King County. Well, you to us. We did. That's where this came from. You know who does? I don't yeah. want to vote. Send someone up there who doesn't support anything I believe in. Well, no. well it, do you, are you supporting Santorum, Gingrich, no. or... No. Romney. <laughs> Romney? Yeah. This... Yeah. Let me ask you this. It's not everyone. Let me ask you this. Yes, sir. Okay. At some point uh, uh, in the in the state convention, how many candidates are going to be? Are they going to pick Santorum or Romney or? There will be probably another slate like this sent to the national level. Okay. But here's what I'm wondering. How do we know? Okay. These. What, what, tell me what these uh, the people on this list. What are their propensities? What are they going to want to do? Every how one of they, them is going to give you a one minute speech today. How, how are they going to? How are they going to? You know, in my mind, the, the issue here is we need to, to defeat Obama. Okay? Correct. And and it needs to be somewhat of a pragmatic decision. Yes, sir. And it needs to be one. Uh, uh, behind which all of us can stand. Yes. So to me, it's very important to know what these people are. are what they represent. Yeah, so what do they represent? Let me describe. How are we going to know? So you know first, every single person here, you're going to vote on independently. I can't make you vote the slate. I'm okay. asking you to, because I believe it's in the best interest of the party. Second, all of them were picked by, because of their involvement in the county party campaigns, there are people who put in a lot of time. And so... As time I've, doesn't necessarily mean what you're... Principles are. All of them are going to give you a speech, and I and okay. I encourage you to weigh them all individually. Okay. So, but everyone you voted for, even without the slate, this is just additional information for you. You would have okay. voted based on a one-minute speech anyhow. So well, all I'm giving you is a little additional piece of information, and I'm asking you on behalf of the Romney campaign to vote for it. It is in it is in the interest of the state convention. So you remember that tough vote we just took on the rules and how we were able to prevail two to one in that vote. Right? If that vote had failed, 
this county convention would be very different right now. And candidly, I do not think it would be better. This is the exact same votes they'll be taking at the state convention. And if people who are intent on disruption are elected to the state convention, then those votes will fail. And that state convention will be very... And that state convention will be very disruptive. And it will get in the national news. And there will be terrible consequences for our state and our, our state party. Is that why that individual walked out after his vote failed? I do not. Perhaps. Because he did walk out. Can I make a comment? I, I can't. I can't speak to that man. The state motive. convention four years ago, I wasn't there, but the news was there. And the Ron Paul people protested and strung things out. And they had to adjourn well after they were scheduled to, well after they had the convention center right. scheduled. Because the Ron people were stringing things out. And that's their strategy is to string things out so that the, the last ones left and they vote to vote themselves to the convention. I thought that I was because the delegation walked out. I went to my first yeah, convention when I was 14 years old. Walked out. And yeah, halfway through the delegation, they just walked out. Yeah. Well, we I love our party that. very much. And we rarely see things like this happen. So most years, we're not forced to do this. But this year, we have been forced to do this because of the savagery of the opposition we're facing. And so that's a pretty strong phrase. But if you had seen what it is like when they prevail and they take control, it is very bad. And so uh, I have to go speak to him. So I have to go speak to another district. I apologize for rushing this on you. Are we choosing just delegates or alternates? You'll choose delegates and alternates, both. We created a slate for both. All right. So, so how do we get to hear? Do we get to hear from these people? You will hear from everyone. Everyone gets to give you a speech. So whatever they, whatever the rules there are others from the ballot. Everybody's going to put the guy's number.